Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Rashi. We've been working on a generic Circos tool. After last year presenting the JBrowse tool this year, Circos found felt like a good follow-up to that. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Circos, it is a circular data plotter. It is loved everywhere by biologists. They absolutely go nuts for the information density you can receive with Circos. It has a whole bunch of standard features you would normally see, heat maps, um, XY plots, scatter plots, all of the normal things. But it also does chord plots, which are a lot more interesting for genetic information. You can show relationships and links between multiple organisms. Here you can see your standard circular plot, absolute, oh, absolutely overwhelming with the amount of information they've squashed in there. But it's what people want. It's what people like. So we've been trying to work on a generic way to make these in Galaxy. Why would you want to do them in Galaxy? Because we use them as workflow summaries. That's what we also use the JBrowse tool for and what I think is the really great power of these tools in Galaxy is that we can write something generic enough that you can take any workflow and all of the data sets you produced as part of that, summarize them into a single graphic or two graphics, and have these as workflow outputs which the user can interpret. We've struggled to provide some really in-depth controls for this. We've made advanced use of all of repeats, nested conditionals, sections, everything we could possibly get our hands on to shove as many controls to the user as possible. Heavy use of color, as you can see, we let you control every facet that you could possibly want, everything from tick groups to the different types of data and some sub-options for those, things like rules. Rules are very interesting in Circos. You can control plot color, plot style, a lot of features about individual plotted points based on your data. This is an example image of what you can do right now. It's not as quite as exciting as the image we saw a little bit before, but of course this does not expose the full power of Circos to you. The feature at the bottom, for those of you not familiar with Circos, is the tiles track. You use it to show features along genomic regions. It's really useful. Here's our roadmap. We've so far completed a fair number of the features available in Circos. In progress, Saskia, the IUC member has contributed some work on links and ribbons. Those are the features we saw earlier to actually generate the chord parts of the chord diagram. And in the future, we're looking to add more z-depth control. This is a feature which lets you layer your levels of plot and take a good plot to a great plot. And this will be contributed to the IUC. That's it. Thank you. Questions for Eric? How have the arts and crafts been going? <laughs> no, um, um, more seriously. So I, I think it's very nice that you recognize a tool that's really loved by users and incorporated mm -hmm. it in this way. I wonder what kind of user feedback you've gotten. Um, how, how quickly did people jump on board with something like this? None so far. I'm looking forward to hearing from users what features are missing. That's the goal with these sort of things, like the JBrowse tool as well, is to say, okay, now that we've got this out there, how are you actually using it? How would you like to use it? What's missing? What can we add to make it more useful? Yes, Eric. Mike. For, for someone who has used Circos before, is it easy to move to your tool? If you're comfortable with this sort of user interface, which has five or six or seven different levels of depth, it can be okay. It's not terribly complex. It takes a while to set up all of your rules and plots and customize them just how you want them. Um, one feature to mention is that you cannot and will not be able to import existing Circos plots. The idea with this is that you build a starter plot and then maybe tweak it offline. We can't expose the full power of Circos because it does some nasty things if we let users have full control over it. Break how? Mm -hmm. We've tried our best to prevent that, and as part of that, when you actually get the results back from the Circos tool, not only do you get images, you also get a full copy of the configuration that Galaxy used, which comes formatted, pre-formatted as a test case for you. So if you have some bug you've encountered where you've hit this situation where it doesn't plot out anything, you'll be able to send that bug report to us along with the tool XML and the test case, and we'll be able to reproduce that. Great, thank you very much. <laughs>